Here we are, back at Rose Garden Gaming. I wonder when I'm going to meet her. She's cute. Anyway, I'm going to go talk to the master and learn her new technique. I might look a little different from the last time he saw me. Don't be alarmed. So, you want to know how to remove a high school girl's clothing? Uh, yeah, I'm a high school guy. It's kind of all we think about. As you might already know, it's not easy. Tell me about it. It might look easy, but that fabric is so hard to get all the way off without tearing it. I know! A holy veil to wrap a maiden's soft skin. You know they don't make those on the cheap. I don't know. I know some pretty poor chicks. They use top-of-the-line techniques to enhance their durability. Kind of like those special pills I take? You couldn't do it any other way. I mean, I might know a few positions. Hmm. Let me ask you. Do you like high school girls? Do you want to strip them from the bottom of your heart? Ah, uh, uh. You're falling for a rookie mistake. Well, I am a rookie. See, you're thinking about stripping other people for sexual reasons. That's perverted. I thought it was just human nature. Also, criminal, technically. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the human nature thing. What? What's with that look? Well, when you wiggle like that, I have to look. I'm not like that here. I'm no criminal. You're stealing my heart. But you're giving too, because you're giving me a boner! I love my opponents, and I respect them. I want to draw out their barest truth and put them in touch with it. I got something you can touch. Then I get physical. Sometimes. Depending. Really, it's just kind of a hobby. <laughs> well, I'm turned on. Now how about you? Moving on. A high school girl's uniform can't be cleanly removed by any standard technique. So now what do we do about that? I'll teach you. You need to understand the charm of a high school girl. That's step one. Somewhere here in Akihabara, someone sells a popular high school uniform. Not a replica. The real thing. Made of all the same materials. Of course, people who buy them here don't wear them to school. Oh, baby, I understand. Point is, these uniforms are valuable to people who know what they're looking for. <laughs> or looking at. Study that uniform, and even you'll understand how very, very charming it is. But you'll have to put it on someone else to really get it. If you wear it yourself, you won't get the same things out of it. Find a teenage girl. Put it on her. The uniform you're looking for is called Code Name Cindy. You got it? Cindy. Don't forget. But that's my mom's name. Put your hands on a Cindy however you can. Then get someone else to wear it for you. Boner's well, still there. Once you understand how that outfit relates to a girl's pure, soft skin, then come back to me. Mission commence!
So I have to go find a thing and a place with another thing. Client. Master. To properly strip a girl's uniform, you'll need to understand what makes these uniforms charming. Study a Cindy brand uniform. The trendiest uniform around. It's being sold somewhere in Akihabara. Yatabe might know something about it. You know, it's been a week since I played this game, because work sucks. And I, I rarely get to do multiple episodes in a day, on my one day off. I don't remember who Yatabe is! <sighs> Sorry. That was unplanned. I wasn't expecting it to be the old guy. Wait, I, am I not understanding what a Cindy is? Sorry if I'm missing something here. A uniform. An official uniform, I see. I used to know people who specialized in those. But when the town changed, it swallowed their business up. Oh? I saw him at the park the other day. He might have a side business there. If you don't find him there, come talk to me again. All right, you tubby, you old pervert, you. sounded like, but it felt very bainy. Here I go! You know, the Dark Knight Trilogy. Harley Quinn Bane. Mm, this sucks! I'm going to blow it up! I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Blow it up! Uh, sir, could you make me a woman? No, 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 I just want you to help me look like one. Can I go home already? It's not time to panic yet. Want to hear a track? Listen and be amazed. Nothing that has anything to do with guitars. So awesome! Uh, it's a good thing that things close something thing thing. Uh, so sleepy. Hey, uh, you know about Cindy? No. What's that? I don't know what that is. Uh. <laughs> Take it or leave it. Uh. So sleepy. You know about mm -hmm. Sandy? Huh? What's that? I don't know what that is. Fucking whore. Waste my time, why don't we?
Anything about codename Cindy? Oh, but what if Cindy might be using a different codename? At first glance, he may try to reject you. Don't let this look fool you. He really is quite shy. If you're persistent with him, he just might tell you. Just keep on pestering. Really? I was gonna do that anyway. I didn't have to waste my time with all this. Here for your clothes. Uh. So sleepy. Yeah. You know about Whoa. Cindy? No. What's that? Uh. I don't know. You know about Cindy? No. I told you I don't uh. know. So, uh, one more time about Cindy. Man, you're annoying. I. Don't know. Uh. So about that Cindy thing. Uh. What's wrong with you? I'm calling the cops. Uh. That's cool and all, but uh, getting back to Cindy. Uh. <sighs> Cindy, huh? Uh. Of course I know about it. Yo. Code name Cindy. Mm. You bought one? I have ways of getting it mm. for you. The premium shift that hardcore fans will kill for. Mm. You're asking if I have one on me right now? Mm. Of course I do. What are you, a dumbass? I got reserve, display, and use copies all for sale. <laughs> Show me the type of person who knows what they want. Mm. All right, bring me 30,000 yen and I'll give you the good stuff. How much money do I have? I think I have enough. Yo! You got the money? Cindy's waiting for you. Oh. I knew you'd get the money. Mm. Here's a Cindy set. Yo. A lot of people want that, you know. <laughs> Better wait until after you get home. Wow, how many minutes am I have to cut out from this falling asleep crap? I have a sister? When did I get a sister? Oh my! Um, apparently I'm going to walk in on my sister changing that classic anime thing. Oh, she's hot. So, how much are you going to give me to keep quiet? How much you want? No way! Seriously? Well, that and I want to put my dick in your mouth, but... You know, we do that anyway. We're a close family. We love each other. Physically. Thanks, big bro! You're welcome! Huh? I was just kidding. I'm not a snitch. 
good. Just remember, snitches get stitches. Like Takashi 6 ix 9 I was just making a little joke. Come on, big bro. Don't jump the gun like that. But I want you to jump my gun. I mean, not that I hate that about you. Hmm? What's up, big bro? Uh, you know what's up, little sis. Huh? You want me to wear a uniform? Like, my school uniform? Someone else's school uniform. <laughs> a high school uniform? That wasn't Did the you? sound I was going for. I failed at my fake masturbation. I don't really get it, but if you want me to, sure. And a cute little sister to cosplay for me. I'm coming. So, how's it look? I kinda like your other one better. This is appreciation mode. Fit me? Oh yeah, baby. It fits you. Everything you do is good for me, sister. Cool. Later, big bro. Later, little sis. Oh, hey. If you need me to wear something else sometime, just tell me. Always happy to help you out. You know, for money. Okay? Alright. Later, big bro. Spoken like a true hooker. Alright, one minute. so hot. I really wanted to take it off my little sister. All right. Now that you've got the drive, you're ready to train. Now, when it comes to schoolgirls' uniforms, you might think they'd come off easily, but they don't. Just the opposite. I know what you mean. I've been trying to take off some schoolgirls' uniforms for ever. that represents youth and vitality. Elegant, but also eye-catching in all the right ways. And yet they get really mad at you if you look. It marks a girl's first adventure into womanhood. Adventure, Depending on how she say. wears it, it can also represent self-consciousness, tidiness, or even vulnerability. 
I'm feeling vulnerable. But the most charming part is the sheer freshness of it. The freshness of a brand new beauty. Is that Spanish? I know it's French, don't hurt me. The taste may not be as rich, but it's light and full of potential. It is wonderful, isn't it? As you feel her tremble, you begin to wonder, where will her adventures take her next? Just imagining that is so exciting. And in order to teach you that, well, from the look on your face, it'd be like teaching a dog to read. Oh, really now? Although, to be fair, you seem like you get the charm of it, at least. Okay, no more chit-chat. Time for your lesson. Yay! Learning! I'll give you a brand new technique. Have yourself a little sparring match. Hey girl! That's a dude. This is hilarious. What's wrong? Why the long face? Come on. You want to strip someone, right? Don't you feel it? I just feel like it works yeah. better with an actual high school Let's girl. Get this lesson started. Get ready. your own. You're ready now. You can take a schoolgirl's uniform clean off without any issue. Go forth. Let your impulse to rip people's clothes off be your guide. So you're my horny Jiminy Cricket? I've got an email. I found her! She's in front of Akihabara Station! Nobu and I will tail her as long as we can. Get over here, quick! Business etiquette course in stock. For anyone looking to take up the life of a salaryman, check out this new ebook. Lam Tora. Hey, you've been skipping cram school, haven't you? Probably just goofing off around Akihabara, I bet. Hope mom and dad don't find out. On a completely unrelated note, I've been bored lately because I don't get enough of an allowance. Maybe if I had a little more money coming in, I'd have so much fun I'd forget about this whole ditching school business. I'll be over here chilling in my room, just saying, where mom and dad aren't. And I'll change clothes and dress up for you, big brother. I've seen hentai, I know where this is going. Alright, well. I saw a gag rope cutie on the super line today. The old train man story, huh? Come on, we've all heard this one. No, it's not a story, I really saw it. Before we hear the details, I have one important question. Should I take off my pants or no? Dude, pull your pants and rub up against a cheese grater or something. Go on, Yamazaki. Did you say save her Hermes, just like in the movie? 
No, I didn't do anything. Why are you such an ass? When the train stopped, the girl grabbed the perv by the collar and threw him in on the platform. The girl did that? Holy shit. I know, dude must have weighed like 200 pounds. Well, he went flying like a cannibal right into the milk stand. That part smells fishy. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Good grief. Here I am with my pants down for no good reason at all. That was neither erotic nor realistic. You have no baiting skills. Three out of ten. I really saw it. Wait, if your pants are already off, doesn't that mean you already took the bait? Enough with the fairy tales. We have more important matters to discuss. Spill it. I'm all ears. Yeah, what's your important matter, Mr. Big Shot? An old question that haunts me from time to time. Oh, what kind of question? Which is superior? A girl's sailor uniform or a girl's blazer uniform? I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. Yeah, not surprised. On the one hand, sailor uniforms boost a clean, efficient beauty about them. They are tidy, and their pretty little charm suggests all that a high school girl should be. I just like them when they're naked. On the other hand, the blazer has a necktie. A necktie. A necktie around a girl's neck. It can truly tie together a relationship. No one asked you. Yes, God's in his heaven. All's right with the world. But what if God were tr trying to conquer a kingdom on earth? Fuck, this guy, he's just entertaining himself. That reminds me, where's Diagon? That's kind of messed up, but yeah, he hasn't been here lately. I told his mom on him. Huh? What? Don't harm me. He admitted it right here. He's got a whole pile of that sick bullshit. He bragged about it. Well, yeah. I hate that shit, so I emailed his log to his mom. Pretty sure he's still grounded. Brr. Hey, don't turn me in, okay? Well, this place got quiet. Guess everyone needs a reminder. The net is public, not private. Anything you say here, all kinds of strangers will see it. Please watch what you say in public. And on that note, I'm out of here. Well, that was worthless. But fun. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Run, little witch, run, run, little witch. No, don't fall. Run, little witch, run, run, little witch. Oh, over here. I'm so fucking hot. Okay, real quick. Shit, where was I going with this? You got distracted by a hot girl? Well, you know how lots of people go in and out of the station? Like, in big groups and everything? We tried to stay on her as long as we could, but, uh, she kind of got away. I mean, we did the best we could, but... I get it already. Where's your Tommy well, and Sarah? Oh, they both have actual full-time jobs, so... Yeah, he's got his junk shop, she's got her number one maid cafe. No booze between temp gigs, and... You know me, so right now, we've got nothing but time. Uh, that, that sounded cooler in my head. Um, uh, let's hurry up and find SGV again. Have you noticed how hard it is to find one person in this whole town? Hmm. Oh, hang on. SGV's been going after people with money, right? Now that you mention it, yeah. She went for that guy in the suit. Didn't even look at us. Hang on. Manhunter... Goes after rich dudes. Yeah, let's think outside the box here. I think maybe if we cleaned up, she'd come after us? Cone, you're a genius! 
<laughs> All right, we've got a plan. We'll stake this place out a little longer. Meanwhile, you go dress like a rich person. Yeah, like with a nice suit. Don't actually buy a nice suit, though. Eh, too expensive. Get yourself a knockoff. Oh, good idea. Like the ones they sell at that sketchy place on Southeast Main Street? All right, we're counting on you. Hmm. Sketchy place on Southeast Main Street. So what you're saying is I could possibly get raped and murdered? I'm in! Um... One moment? <laughs> yeah. Let's get started. Can you One please moment. help? Oh. This is amazing. I've never seen this kind of reading before. Your readings are normal. People that occupy are mostly indifferent to you. Yay! Today sucks. I don't want to leave Akihabara. I don't want to leave. Little sister. She's a cutie. Is it this one? Welcome. We haven't spoken to him in some time, but the Manhunter's victims are piling up. Dagon, you're alive! I thought they confirmed you were dead. No, I'm very much alive, though. Wounded, in a sense. I've lost a great many things in recent days. Too many to count. Serves you right, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll laugh if you must. You know you're no better than I. All that aside, forever... I bring news of the Manhunter herself. Whoa, 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 what's you here? The lady's victim is none other than my stepbrother. And so, I now have an eyewitness account of the girl behind the attacks. A high school girl, as it happens. 
What's your stepbrother think of your collection? My stepbrother is a bit... My stepbrother is a belligerent nuisance, always flaunting his karate training. He reminds me of my least favorite PE teacher. I can relate, I think. He also has a certain fondness for cabaret clubs. He was on his way to a uniform shop on Showa Street when she attacked him. A high school girl beat up a karate guy? Oh, lol. Make no mistake, he's quite skilled, but he couldn't lay a finger on the girl. Yeah, that smells like total BS. Oh no, I believe it. Seriously, how come? Remember, I saw it too. The super-powered schoolgirl? I don't think Daigon's lying. Thank you. It's wonderful to be believed for a change. I've missed it here. I've missed all of you, my closest friends. We all know you're a mega perv asshole. I'm sorry. You ever think maybe you're a little too open about all that? Yeah, that is kind of weird. All right, well. Are we going to see our mystery woman? Are we going to find the high school vampire? Find out next time on Rose Garden Gaming. Now I'm going to edit all of the parts while I fell asleep out. Enjoy. I like video games. I like video games. I like video games. And tickle bitties.